Dean here with Escape to Gaming. Today's a simple pickups video. I just wanted to share a few new things. I did a video about a month or two ago of um, one of my next door neighbors had a yard sale. Her husband passed away and she's trying to eliminate a lot of things. And I got a really killer deal on a PlayStation 1, which I have here. A rash of PlayStation 1 games and a couple PS2 games and even a uh, Sega Dreamcast game as well. So I was really excited, and she said she was going to have another yard sale, but nothing ever materialized. Well, she, I met her at the mailbox the other day, and she said, well, Dean, we're going to have a yard sale, um, you know, on this coming weekend. I said, well, I, actually, my wife and I are going out of town, uh, so I won't be able to come. She goes, well, why don't you come over this afternoon, and I'll just, you can just kind of look through and get a head start and see if there's anything that you want before I have the yard sale. She found a, a bunch of other collectibles and things that she knew I was interested in. So we went over there and spent some time, and I found a rash of really cool things, and that's the bulk of what I have in this pickups video, which I'm really excited to share with you for my game room here, as if I need more things. <laughs> so when I went next door and I looked at what she had, she had a bunch of DVDs. Now, I have a huge movie collection of over 5,000 DVDs and VHS tapes. It's taken me, God, you know, decades to a mass, this huge collection. I mean, I don't even think I could show it all. I started to show a few categories of just the DVDs alone, and they just went on for hours, and I don't want to bore people with even longer uh, videos than I already have, so. <clears throat> but one of these days, maybe I'll try to show them all in one shot. Uh, they're all in boxes right now in the garage and all my closets. But there were several um, videos that she had on DVD that I didn't have on VHS, and plus a few games that I also found that I missed last time, so I thought I'd show some of those things. I'd never seen this movie, Ted, on Blu-ray, but I got a really cool uh, copy of this. Um, so my wife and I have been anxious to watch this. It looks like it, it's um, kind of a fun movie, so I'm anxious to see Ted. Um, I've always wanted to get a copy of this. and never had this. This is Once Upon a Time in America, special edition uh, on DVD. I think it has... Um... Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's on a couple different, you know, discs. Everything she had was a Mac. She had tons of, hundreds of DVDs. But, um, uh, you know, I had most of them. Now, like True Lies I picked up. She, I, I got all of these. I think she wanted, I think it was like $2 a piece for every DVD. And um, so I had this on VHS, but I wanted to get it. Uh, one of my favorite Schwarzenegger uh, films. Kind of a comedy action film, True Lies. Really well done. I really enjoyed it when it first came out. I have it on VHS, just wanted to get it. And I also had it on VHX, um, but never got it on DVD, was the original Matrix. I never really cared for the other ones, but I loved the first one and saw it twice at the theater, really enjoyed it. So I was happy to get this from my collection. Uh, the Great Santini, another fantastic Robert Duvall movie, which I love. In fact, I have this on VHS as well. So it was kind of nice to kind of find a few oddball ones. Death Trap, I also have on VHS. Uh, Christopher Reeves, who played Superman. Wonderful uh, film with Michael Caine as well. I can't wait to watch this one soon. Excited about that. Uh, this Kentucky Fried movie is an American, kind of a B-movie classic. Uh, kind of an um, underground classic, if you will. And I'm dying to watch this. This is like a great college film, uh, you know, from the 70s or whatever. So I'm anxious to watch Kentucky Fried movie. Very unusual movie. And then also... Uh, one of my favorite artists, um, who I follow on Facebook, did this wonderful Fritz the Cat. And this is a fantastic, kind of an adult-rated, almost like an X-rated cartoon. Uh, really well done. This is back when all the animation was all, you know, lovingly hand-drawn and everything. But I love this, and I love following this guy. Uh, Ralph, I think his name is ba Banshee or something like that. He did the, the original Lord of the Rings, which I also have on DVD. Uh, animated feature before you know Peter Jackson did the movies, and which I highly recommend. By the way, if you like Lord of the Rings, uh, the SWAT movie I saw when it first came out, it's not bad. It's okay. I used to love the original TV show, so I thought I'd pick this up. You know, for two bucks, what are you gonna do? And then the wonderful Time Bandits. I love this movie, and I I don't even think I have this on VHS. I should, I might have it, but I don't think that I do. So I was thrilled to find the Time Bandits film. And that's it for the movies that she had. Um, she had two PlayStation 2 games that I, I really wanted. I've seen both of these before. Naval Ops Commander, which looks really good for the PlayStation 2. Uh, excellent condition, all complete. You know, yeah, I was really happy with this. And then Naval Ops Warship Gunner as well. 
So it's kind of a you know matching series. I, I used to have another sim that was God, it was like on a Commodore 64. I can't remember something in the Persian Gulf where these could you know you could have a whole naval task force fleet and missiles and the whole deal. It's a really good strategy game. So these look really good. I'm I'm thrilled to have these and add them to my PlayStation 2 collection. And that's it for the games. That's all she had for games. But what she did have is that she had, um, my wife picked up a couple movies that she liked and a little Tiffany lamp for our bedroom that she picked up. And I've always wanted, I've been looking for another lamp for my big desk over here. You know, quite often you'll see my Budweiser lamp. And I wanted something over by my 1950 Westinghouse radio. And I found this wonderful, she had uh, this great Coca-Cola lamp. Tiffany lamp and it lights up great. It's awesome. So I plugged this in. I put a couple brand new low watt bulbs in it, and it just has a wonderful look and glow to it. So this between this and then my old um, Budweiser sign from the '60s kind of makes my whole you know little table over here. It makes it very cozy at nighttime. So I was delighted with this. I mean, I swill a tremendous amount of Diet Coke. Mmm. As it is, as I, I know a lot of you guys do too. So I was delighted. To find that, it's gonna fall over here. There we go. The, the 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 best thing that she had, her husband was really into Star Trek. Now she kind of knows her son kind of hipped her to what a lot of the stuff is worth, and they had a lot of Star Wars things and Hot Wheels and that stuff is going on eBay. And they're it's like she already knows what it's worth. She had several autograph pictures from. Uh, Star Trek, Star Trek: The Next Generation, and Babylon Five, and all I wanted was the one. And her husband was ironically at the same in 1991 was at the same uh, Star Trek convention that I was at, uh, right when Gene Roddenberry died, and Roddenberry's wife uh, actually was there at um, at the Star Trek convention. So I got an autographed James Doohan Star Trek uh, 60s, um, you know, eight by ten glossy. And I was really thrilled with this. I mean, she, she wanted a lot of money for these. She gave me a really good deal. I, I got I got this for twenty dollars. I mean, I would have paid a hundred bucks for this in a heartbeat. Uh, but I love this. I'm just so delighted with this. It has an autograph with James from James Doohan right there, Scotty from Star Trek. So I'm thrilled with this. I'm going to find a place for it. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put it, but I want to put it up here somewhere. So I'm delighted to have this. Um, God, where am I going to put this thing? I'll put it right here for right now. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. But really happy with this. You can see I got my Star Trek collection all remastered on DVD, and then the flip side has the HD DVDs on the back side. I love my Star Treks. Um, she had Riker's autograph from the Next Generation, which I almost bought. I didn't have that much cash on me, so I just picked up a few things. Um, and then there was something from Babylon 5, one of the female actors on there. But anyway, that those were my pickups uh, from my yard sale next door, which I was really delighted to have, you know, to find. I got everything for, you know, just a song. And then I picked up recently a few other things. Um, and I showed this kind of in my, I did a, a little bit of gameplay from Forza 2. I found a brand new, still factory sealed Forza 2 copy, which I already kind of showed this in my gameplay video. Uh, recently, but I love this. I'm, you know, got like five days into the, you know, career mode in this. I'm, you know, kind of way into it now, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. I mean, I'm still got a ways to go. I've got probably 60, 70 percent of the way through four is a four, plus a ton of extra cars and content, which I'm, you know, plowing through that too. And then I get a brand new factory sealed Toker Race Car Driver 3, which I love this. And I've been playing the career mode in this on my original Xbox. I'm thrilled to have this back after all these years. And if, if you guys want a, a masterpiece, wonderful racing game for the original Xbox, you cannot beat this Toka Race, you know, this um, Toka Race Driver 3. Um, I had a chance to get a used copy of it. I went back the next day to get it. It was sold. So I just found a brand new one on eBay and I got it cheap. So I was real happy with that. Um, I also picked up on opening day, I pre-ordered this, God, like four months ago. The Rambo the video game, which I know everyone's so excited about. and can't wait to play this. <laughs> everyone, the PC version already came out. Everyone kind of realizes that it's not uh, what it's cracked up to be or what everyone thought it was. But I'll have, I'll find the fun in this. Now, when I pre-ordered this, they said if you pre-order it, you get a little bobblehead statue of Rambo. They had like two different ones where he's like no shirt on, his big head with a bandana. And he's got like a rocket launcher, you know, AK-47 or something in his hands. 
I wanted that statue. To me, the little statue would have been worth 40 bucks, and this would have been like a freebie to go with it. So I went down to get it. They go, all right, here's your game. And I go, well, where's the statue? Well, we don't know anything about any statue. This is what they said at Game GameStop. So I wasn't real delighted with that, but I went ahead and took the game anyway. I already pre-ordered and put 10 bucks down on it. So for 40 bucks, I got this new Rambo, the video game. I'm going to probably put it in tonight. It's, I've, we've just been inundated with stuff. I've got a couple cabinet jobs i got overlapping right now, so I haven't had time to play games all week. But uh, I'm anxious to play this, and I'll believe me, I'll find the fun in this video game. It's just an arcade, kind of an on-rail shooter, and it looks like a fun game, so I can't wait to play this. And then today I just went down after work and picked up a few games. Uh, one of them, I used to have this years ago, and I love this. I found a mint copy of this um, Battlestar Galactica, all complete, just excellent condition. Uh, I love this game to death. It has the original Colonial Vipers and the Cylon spaceships. It's kind of the old school Battlestar Galactica, but a really fun spaceship shooter. Um, I really, um, I really like this one a lot. It's not the the best space game that I've played, but it play. It's fluid. It plays well. It looks neat. If you really want the original kind of theme, the music, and um, the spaceships and the Battlestar Galactica itself from the original TV show, which I have all of these on DVD in a special box set. You can't beat this. A really good deal on the Battlestar Galactica. And then a friend of mine um, who, who uh, I subbed to his channel, God, it's been for months now, and he also subbed to mine. I have a, uh, I've had on my uh, recommended channels on, my, on the side of my YouTube channel, I've recommended them, uh, is Mad Max 09, M-D-M-A-X-09 uh, is his channel, and it's Mikey's Video Game Madness. Uh, he does everything from like 8 and 16-bit games and up, a lot of contemporary games. He does usually about a half an hour or so of gameplay, some a little longer, some a little shorter. And I love this channel. He's very relaxed, and he's, he's here in the States on the East Coast. Um, I love the guy right off because he had Mad Max. You know, my, That's what I use on my Xbox 360 and on my PlayStation 3. Is um, you know my I've, I've got Z Mad Max is my you know is my name on there so I was delighted when I saw the Mad Max that kind of picked up on that right away and really liked liked his channel and he does really I really enjoy watching him I can watch an hour goes by you know a couple I watch a few of his episodes at a time he just did a good one on Splinter Cell Blacklist he did one um, recently on um, uh, the on this Terminator Three Redemption. Because I told him that I bought Dawn of Fate, and he goes, oh, if you like that, Dean, you'll really like this. Check this one out. So I watched his gameplay of this and went out, and finally, I've been looking for this for weeks, and I finally found a mint copy. This was kind of pricey. This was an expensive one. I paid $20 for this at my dimple store. But it's in excellent condition. I mean, there's not a scratch on the disc. Everything is absolutely flawless on it. So I'm really happy with this. This looks really challenging. Looks like a really good game. It has a, an issue with the checkpoints. So if you you know you screw up, you have to go back and do the whole level all over again. But it looks like a fantastic Terminator game. I recently got a couple, um, uh, the Terminator 3 movie on Blu-ray, and um, uh, Terminator Salvation, the film on Blu-ray as well, as well as Terminator Salvation for the Xbox 360. So I'm dying to play this for the Xbox. So thanks, Mikey, for the recommendation for this. And then Mikey just did, on his Video Game Madness channel, he did a really cool gameplay of a game that I like. He wasn't really that thrilled with it, but um, it's Soldier of Fortune Payback, which I you know, have for the Xbox 360. He played it on the PlayStation 3 version. And he wasn't real thrilled with it. He said that it wasn't, to him, as gory and as good as the old um, gore elements and animations that they had in the original 1 and 2 uh, Soldier of Fortune. So he recommended that I get... Soldier of Fortune, it's Soldier of Fortune 2, and it's called Double Helix. So I found a mint copy of this for like $6, really a good deal. And it's all complete, uh, perfect disc, everything, so I'm delighted to play this. I love the Soldier of Fortune games. They're really cheesy. It's almost like a B-movie, over-the-top action. I mean, you shoot someone and just severs their, their limbs off, blood goes everywhere. It's kind of over-the-top. So I'm excited about this. So thanks a lot, Mikey, for this. He's got a great channel. I really enjoy him. I've used one of the first channels that I promoted and put on my little sidebar of recommended channels that I like friends to watch and I love his channel. So, um, and I'm, I'm always looking at new ones. Lately, he's been doing a rash of PlayStation 3 games. 
So it's giving me all kinds of ideas, as if I need more games, you know, to pick up. But anyway, th those are the recent pickups that I've done. I just did a couple videos, um, or I went over to San Francisco for the weekend, and then I also took a trip up north, up to the uh, Point Reyes Lighthouse, up in Northern California. It's north, probably an hour and a half or so north of the wonderful city of San Francisco. And I filmed a bunch of that in two segments, part one and two. They're about a half an hour each. Uh, sadly, I got a content ID flag on it because of the music. And a few of my friends, especially in the UK, they, they wanted to see it and couldn't. Uh, you can watch it, but only on, on PCs. You can't see it on mobile devices for some reason. Uh, I also am unable to watch it on my Xbox 360 app as well. So, But if you have a PC, you can watch it. Uh, it's just a really fun road trip. Um, I've been wanting to do it's kind of overdue. We, I mean, I rarely ever take a vacation. We go away usually for one or two nights, you know, once a year. I mean, I, I don't leave work. It's always, the two of us are always working. Or we go down south to see family. So it's rare that we just get away for just one of those kind of a fun flings. But I rented a really nice brand new loaded Mustang and uh, had a blast. You know, we really enjoyed our time over there. Uh, and I try to cut it down. And each segment would have been about an hour long. So I try to pick up the best scenery and sections and kind of compile it and put some music but i've got some really good triple a jazz over the top of it which apparently get flagged so um but you can watch those anyway if you have a pc so anyway i just wanted to kind of show you a couple pickups for my new you know game room i'm working on i'm still working on getting my big black um ikea bookshelf which i'm going to have right over here and then i can put some of my favorite consoles and games on there so right now i've got you know piles of games and dvds and blu-rays i've got all over my tables and everything in sight here at the moment, but uh, I'm really excited for this new Wolfenstein, the New Order games coming out. I keep seeing more and more wonderful uh, gameplay videos on it. There's a new one out that you can go either stealth or go uh, full bore, you know, uh, uh, almost dual wielding, you know, machine guns, the whole deal. It's just over the top with the gore and the action. Very excited about that. Uh, sadly, the new Mad Max game, which was also slated initially to go up, to come out next month, that one also got pushed back to 2015, which I'm really bummed out about, so I'm kind of really, uh, you know, taken aback by that. But it is what it is. I'd rather have them take the time, Avalanche Studios, and polish it and do it right than to rush it and have something else out there. It looks like Drive Club will be coming later, I think in October or something later this year, which I'm looking forward to as well. Uh, the Sniper Elite 3 I've got pre-ordered. Special edition of that. I can't wait to get that. That's going to be awesome and epic. And... Uh, and I'm watching a few other kind of indie games and other games that are coming out, I'm, you know, later in the year. So we'll see on that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a wonderful weekend this weekend. Enjoy your games. Enjoy your films. And uh, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it.